This training video is brought to you by K Alliance. K Alliance provides high quality instructor led training videos for desktop, IT, and soft skills. Visit us online at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching, and we hope you learned something new. Real videos, real learning, real success. Compacting and repairing a database optimizes the performance because what it does is it rearranges how the files are stored on the hard disk and it attempts to repair any corruption that it might find in the tables, the forms, and the reports. Let's go into an access database I have open and see where it is that you can actually go in to compact and repair. So all tables, all objects are closed. And then you go into the backstage by going to file and it's on the info group. So info, it's right here. It must be important, right? Because it's the first group, the first item, compact and repair. And it tells you exactly what it does. So I click on compact and repair and it looks like nothing happened, but here's what just happened. It just went out into my computer and it took a look at everything, fixed things, and potentially reduced the file size by up to 25%. So it's a really great feature. It's fast and it's easy to do. Well, it's so important that there's another area that you might want to think about setting up. So remember, you do backstage info, compact and repair when you manually want to compact and repair, but you could do this. You could go into your backstage and go all the way down to options. And once you get into options, you want to choose the current database. And once you select the current database, there's a checkbox here for compact on close. This is a great choice for you to make because then every time you close your access database, it's compacting. And so it's kind of like picking up your room every night before you go to bed. Every morning you have a nice clean room. It's like putting away all your toys, putting away everything at the end of your access work day, and then in the morning when you open it up, it's as clean as it possibly can be. And of course, that's the behind the scenes thing that we cannot see, but it's a really great idea to set this up so that it does compact on close. I'll go ahead and say okay to that. And it says you must close and reopen the current database for the option to take effect. That might not have been that option. Let me look at something for you. I wanna go look here. Um, no, that might have been it. There are some features inside of this current database that have to close and open prior to taking effect, and I thought maybe I had one turned on. So for instance, the display form, you'll always get that message. So in order for it to take effect, I'll close it. So close and reopen. And now that feature that's going to compact on close every time I close it, it's now in effect for me. Okay, just a little note for you. Um, if you don't have enough space on your hard disk, or you don't have appropriate permissions, or someone else has the database open, what'll happen is the compact and repair, it won't run, but it'll tell you. It won't just not run. It'll let you know that it's not going to run. So recommendation, compact and repair often because you wanna keep things as clean and as neat as possible behind the scenes. And the benefit for you, your access database will run very smoothly. We hope you enjoyed this preview video. Please click on the like button below if you did and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure to visit us at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial today. You could learn a lot in a week.